So what do you do when you're feeling anxious, but you're in public? A viewer asked me to give some tips on what you can do when you don't have time to do a formal meditation practice, a formal breathing practice, like I have on some of my other videos to show you how to center a nice quiet place to yourself. What if you're in public, there are people around and you just can't afford to give yourself that time, but you've got the jitters and you wanna calm down. So that's what I'm going to address today. This is not meant to treat panic attacks or anxiety disorders. This is just a social situation where you're getting the jitters, maybe um, an interview for a job, uh, you're taking an exam as a student, you're preparing for a big presentation, um, first date, even on a crowded subway uh, it can be very anxiety provoking. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is straighten up. A lot of times our hunched posture uh, if you work at computers, you know what I'm talking about. We hunch over a lot, we close off, we um, kind of disconnect. And this is very uh, anxiety provoking. Um, it lowers your confidence. It also stifles your breathing because you're now compressing the diaphragm and the chest and you're, you don't have movement there. So straighten up. Changing your body position can change your mood. It will increase your confidence. You will feel um, taller and calmer and more present and ready to receive, ready to listen. Um, so nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, and think of your spine nice and straight, the top of your head dangling from a string. Nice tall posture. Next, you wanna breathe and you wanna check in with your breathing and you can do this without it being noticeable. So you wanna start by making sure you're breathing in through your nose. Breathing in through your mouth is anxious breathing. Breathing through your nose is calm breathing. You can breathe out through your nose or your mouth, it doesn't matter. And you wanna make sure you're doing deep diaphragmatic breathing. When we're tense, our breath is up here and we uh, lose contact with this whole area here. That's calming breathing. So you wanna breathe into the belly. Belly breathe, expanding all around here. If you don't know what I mean by belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing, check out my video. I would devote a, a video to just showing you how to do that. So deep diaphragmatic breathing in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth, a few of those. If you're able to, if you're not uh, speaking at the time, hold your breath at the top. So you take a big diaphragmatic breath in, hold your breath for maybe one, two, three, and let it go. All of this can be real subtle. Nobody has to see you doing this. You can even, uh, if you're able to, put a hand on your belly and feel the movement. Hold it at the top. Long exhale. So you also want to focus on your exhale. You want your exhale to be as long, if not longer, than your inhale. When we're anxious, we take in more air and we don't let it go. And that gives us a shortness of breath because we already have uh, air in our lungs so that we can't take a full breath in. So you wanna make sure you're exhaling completely, completely while maintaining an upright posture. A Couple other little tricks. Um, you can self massage your hand. A lot of nice points on the hand can really relax the whole body. So that big thumb pad, uh, if you use a mouse a lot, it's usually pretty tender. So I'm just standing like this with my, my arms, you know, nobody suspects a thing, but I'm digging my thumb into that thumb pad, maybe even making a few circles. You can do other parts of your hand, just notice where it might be tender, notice where it feels good, like a nice stress relief. Um, you could do that if you're sitting at a table with your, your hands under the table. Um, so that's a good one to do without anybody really knowing that you're doing that. Uh, when I'm standing, actually, if I'm able to, I will put a hand on my hip and it looks like I'm just standing with my hand on my hip, but really I'm giving myself a little sacral massage. So on the low back, the sacrum, little thumb circles or just pressing in. I just felt my whole, <laughs> my whole right leg just relax just from that. You can just um, kind of push down a little and hold it there, which helps you straighten out the back. So nice little things that you can do that won't go noticed. Uh, and another last but definitely not least important tip is smile. 
bring up the corners of your mouth. It really does make a difference. The way your face is, the way you're holding your body is going to gauge what your mood is doing. So they really, really go hand in hand. Straighten up, smile, diaphragmatic breathing. If you can get away with it, give yourself a little hand massage, a little low back massage, and your jitters should calm down fairly quickly. Now, in order to uh, avoid getting jitters in public, a great thing to do is really prepare ahead of time um, for the situation that you're going to be in so you're nice and prepared and uh, you know you could do a good yoga practice or something before you go into that so that the chances of you getting anxious are reduced or avoid really stressful situations if you can but this is if you're there you're anxious you're stuck what do I do <sighs> try these out and see if it helps please visit my website for more information and great tips rachelrichards.com Sign up for my newsletter, subscribe to my YouTube video, and if you have anything else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below.